In this video, I'm going to show you Flinto 25's new adaptive snap and adaptive handle system. These are really nice little details that make your day to day work in Flinto much smoother. <laughs> so let's start with snap lines. Snap lines are really helpful to get a layer into position, but in a lot of apps, including old versions of Flinto, there's snap lines that appear everywhere when you drag a layer around. So first, let me show you how this worked in Flinto version 24. Here's how snap lines worked in Flinto version 24 and earlier. As I drag the layer around, lots of snap lines appear, and it's a lot of visual clutter, and the layer is snapping all over the place. It still helps me to get the layer where I need it, but there's a lot of distraction. Now let's take a look at Flinto 25 and see how the new version has improved the way snap lines work. You'll notice that as I drag the layer, snap lines don't appear until I need them. What we do is take your cursor's velocity and acceleration into account to choose when to disable snap lines. As you approach the final position and you start to slow down, the snap lines reappear, and as if by magic, just the ones you need help you snap the layer into place. Next, let's take a look at resize handles. In older versions of Flinto, and in a lot of other graphics apps, it's hard to deal with layers when they get really small. First, let's take a look at how this worked in Flinto version 24 and earlier. When you have a small layer selected, you can't see all of the handles. And when it's this small, you can't grab the layer in the middle to drag it around. And if I make the layer really small, I can barely do anything. This is a common situation in a lot of graphics apps that when a layer is really small, it becomes hard to manipulate. Now let's take a look at how Flinto 25 addresses this, makes it easier to deal with small layers using the adaptive handle system. You'll notice that even when the layer is small, I can grab it in the middle and I can access all eight resize handles. This works even if the layer is resized down to zero by zero. I can still grab it in the middle and I can still access all the resize handles. This is hugely convenient when you're dealing with small layers. I love addressing these often overlooked details inside of Flinto. I hope you'll give it a try in Flinto version 25 and watch the other video about button hover and button press gestures if you haven't already.